Okay, chappies, as promised, we're going to have a little race this evening. 30 laps between the Corvette yellow car and the Aston Martin uh, the blue car. It would be pointless to put the Porsche out there because, number one, uh, the Porsche handles so much better than these other two cars that it's it's going to win every race, okay? Even at very low speeds because it never de-slots and it's, it's ultimately a faster car because it handles the, the corners, the curves, so well. So we're going to put uh, the uh, Aston Martin up against the uh, uh, Corvette. I'll be driving the Corvette. The Aston Martin is being driven by the digital interface, okay? The ghost car, which is what the Aston Martin is, is not smart, okay? It does not yield at lane changes. If you're right beside it, it will change lanes, and it will knock you off the um, course, okay? Also, when it gets behind you, it will not slow down, and it, if it's uh, substantially faster than you're going at the time, it's going to crash into you, and uh, that includes when you de-slot and you don't have time to get to the console to pause the race or to the app to pause the race. Uh, this is very risky for the cars to do this, okay? So I, I can't really recommend that new slot car racers even use this functionality because this is a good way to destroy your, your $70 to $80 slot cars uh, because the ghost car is stupid, okay? And the ghost car will probably win the race as a result because it's incumbent upon you, the human driver, uh, to stay out of its way, but still try to beat it in a race. That's very, very challenging. We've got 30 laps to try it in. I can't make any promises. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay, so here we go. I'll give me just a moment to hydrate, and we'll start the race. The uh, app will tell us who's in the lead, but you may not be able to hear it. I may not be able to hear it because of two cars on the track at the same time, okay? Here we go. Thirty laps to glory. Good luck, everyone. Come on. Here we go. I'm in the outside lane, the Corvette. Oh. Okay, I've got the lead. Now I just got to stay on the course and not crash. If I crash, you'll catch up. Now, see, I'm behind him. Now I can push him. I don't have to go full speed. Now I can overtake if I want to, but I don't see that that's necessary. Well, I'll do it because I can. So I've lapped him. I'm in good shape. I can just stay in this lane now. Steady. Ah! Let's let him have it. Two laps ahead of him now. I can lap him again if I want to. Ooh, he almost crashed into me. I got this one if I don't crash. See me overtaking there on the turn? Yeah, I got it. But now I got a pit. I almost crashed at the end. Okay, and while I'm fueling up, he can just uh, keep going around the track. Okay, yeah, I beat him by 14 seconds. So, here's why, though. As I fuel up there, um, the Aston Martin, now this is going to be different for everyone, I'm sure, but the Aston Martin is so terrible at turning corners, even the ghost car de-slots if I put it around there too fast. 
So it has to go at a nice slow. Now the Porsche, I can put this, I can have this thing screaming around the track, and there's no, no possible way to defeat it. I've tried and tried, but I, I can't. Uh, now I haven't ghosted the Corvette yet. We could do that at, at some later time, but um, you just got to tinker around with these to find this, and it, it you set the speed with the trigger before you lock it in with the uh, lane change button on your controller, okay? At that point, that's how fast the uh, ghost car is going to go. So you have to test it in the inside and outside lanes at whatever speed you want to run it at. And again, the uh, the Corvette and the uh, Aston Martin don't handle curves very well at all, whereas the Porsche handles curves extremely well. So for a Supreme Challenge, the Porsche is the best car for this for me. However... Uh, at high speeds, the Porsche can wreck your car if you de-slot and you don't have time to stop or pause the race before it rear-ends you. That's how the, I lost the spoiler uh, on the Corvette, uh, that very reason. Uh, so, human opponents uh, are, are smarter than, well, I say that. Uh, you have, I don't know how many of you have tried to deal with some members of the online slot car community. Uh, I say humans are smarter. That's up for debate, I suppose. But, um, it's going to be more competitive against another person rather than this AI. It's just the AI is just not that smart uh, on this setup, okay? And unless you go out and spend money on those uh, computer chips to put in the lane switch, uh, switching pieces, which I'm not prepared to do at this time. Um, what more can I say about it? Uh, you could actually uh, put both, all three of these cars on here at once. We've done that already. Two ghost cars. Two ghost cars is a recipe for disaster without chips in the lane switchers to keep them from... Uh, smacking into each other and changing lanes at the same time. Um, it's a, it's a hot, I've tried it. It's a hot mess trying to complete a race. You just caution flag after caution flag after caution flag, and you're re-slotting everything. And that, uh, ideally, you don't want your slot cars smacking into each other. Now, I'm not talking about the little HO scale toys uh, from you know Walmart or Amazon that. Are very poor quality, and the, the that look like the tracks look like roller coasters, and the whole idea is to destroy them. Uh, this is a, a high dollar investment, and you want to try to keep these cars alive as long as possible, and and, and wrecking them into computer generated cars that have no regard for safety <laughs> it is not the way to do that. But I should point out that the Carrera digital cars are certainly durable, uh, but they can only take so much, and at high speeds. Uh, a rear end crash like that's probably going to do more than break off a spoiler. So you've got to uh, keep that in mind. And also consider these are also toys, but these are very expensive toys. Okay, So uh, let the buyer and the racer beware in that regard. Um, uh, do let me know if you'd like to see more races. Uh, I can't add any more cars to this at this time. They're just too expensive. But... Um, we could try the Corvette as a ghost car, even though I don't think it's going to handle the corners well enough to be able to drive it at a competitive speed. Uh, the same holds true for the Aston Martin. Now, the Porsche, I can play around with trying to find the right speed that maybe the uh, Aston Martin and Corvette would be competitive against it. And I can certainly play around with that. But at this point, I'm having more t fun doing these race night uh, lap trials than actual physical racing against the uh, computer ghost cars because, again, the ghost cars are stupid and when you add that to uh, a newbie racer who doesn't have a whole lot of skill it's it's a recipe for disaster okay well thanks for watching chappies and i'll talk to you again real soon take care